tension between Democratic Party leadership and the Bernie Sanders campaign boiling over, some would say, party chairwoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz condemning the Sanders campaign for not responding forcefully enough after violence at the Nevada State Convention this past weekend, even saying Senator Sanders is adding fuel to the fire. Now the issue could wind up threatening the summer's convention. I'm speaking slowly so you can drink in the footage. Here to respond, Bernie Sanders campaign manager Jeff Weaver. Not acceptable is what Congresswoman and party chair uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz says, that Bernie Sanders should not have put a butt between what you did was unacceptable, you can't have violence, and, but I get why you're really angry. Did the campaign do the right thing when it came to shouting down violence? Uh, look, Chris, uh, Bernie Sanders put out a statement before the convention happened, uh, after a conversation with uh, Senator Reid. He put out a statement after the, co the convention happened. Uh, he categorically, uh, uh, categorically condemns any kind of threats that went on. Uh, absolutely unacceptable. Uh, you know, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, we could have a long a conversation just about Debbie Wasserman Schultz and how she's been throwing shade on the Sanders campaign uh, since the very beginning. Uh, whether it was the debate schedule uh, that were very few and far between and scheduled on weekends when no one was going to be watching, uh, whether it was the when they shut off the Sanders access to his own data and we had to sue them in federal court to get it back, or whether it was uh, these joint fundraising agreements with the Hillary Clinton campaign, which are taking money away from state parties and sending it to the DNC. And look, it's not, I, I got to say, it's not the DNC. You know, by and large, people of the DNC have been very uh, good to us. Uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz really is the exception. Well, lucky for you, CNN was such champions of democracy that we offered so many great forums for you throughout this primary process. I see you nodding your head in assent. Very well done. Very well done, Mr. Weaver. Yes, yes. Um, the, the headline... Uh, you also, yes. Thank you, sir. The headline from the discussions with the DNC, with the party uh, elites, to use uh, uh, an expression that's in parlance now, is stop whining. You're losing. You're doing very well, but you're losing. You're down by three million votes. Uh, you're down by a bunch of pledge delegates and superdelegates. Don't blame it on the system. Your response? Chris, we've competed in some 40 states so far. Uh, we have had one state where this has been a problem in Nevada, which I think would lead people to believe that there is a Nevada-specific uh, problem here. This hasn't happened anywhere else. We've had great relationships with uh, state parties all across the country. Uh, we have, in one case, helped fund uh, the caucuses in a state party because uh, they didn't have the resources. The Clinton campaign refused to help them. We did. Uh, so you can see that there has been a, a two issues, largely, in the campaign with the uh, so-called, quote-unquote, elites. Uh, it's been Debbie Wasserman Schultz and this uh, incident in, with, the with the Nevada State Party. So we have had great relationships with parties across the country. We look forward to working with them in the future. Uh, I'm sure they're going to uh, want to have uh, Senator Sanders out there, win, lose, or draw, out there on the stump, uh, helping candidates and helping them raise money. Uh, and uh, we look forward to having a great relationship, continuing great relationship with them. So there's, there's really two pressure points here. Uh, and I think uh, people who are uh, on the other side of this, you know, uh, including the Nevada State Democratic Party, uh, which uh, did such an abysmal job uh, with their uh, caucus uh, process. But it's uh, not just Nevada, Jeff, right? I mean, when Senator Sanders is on the stump and opens his hands wide and says, Democratic Party, let the people in, that doesn't sound like a discreet issue. Absolutely. It sounds like, uh, you know, a macro overarching criticism of what he has called a rigged process. Well, I think there's two separate issues, Chris. I think there's one is uh, these uh, electoral process issues like you had in Nevada or with Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Uh, and then you have this other issue, which is how do we broaden the base of the Democratic Party? How do we make it uh, the, par the home for more people? How do we make it more inclusive? How do we bring in all those young people who feel, uh, uh, you know, left out? How do we bring in democratically aligned independents? How do we bring in working people? That's a different question. Uh, and that's a challenge, a sort of global challenge for the party uh, in order to help it grow and be successful uh, for years and years to come. And Bernie Sanders, I think, is helping to lead that. We're registering uh, hundreds of thousands of people in, in the California. Uh, so many new people are coming into the process. And you want to make sure that the Democratic Party is welcoming to those people uh, so that they stay engaged. 